so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melissa. I'm a 27 year old stay at home mom to an almost two year old boy. And I am due with our second baby um, at the beginning of May. So it's coming up soon, only about a month left, which is crazy to me. So as you know, it's Easter time um, and we're not planning on doing a lot of stuff because of everything that's happening in the world, obviously. I'm not planning on leaving the house, um, but we still want to make it special for our toddler and just for us because it's still a holiday for us. It's still something that we want to celebrate. So we have put together a um, Easter basket for my toddler and I wanted to just show you guys some ideas that I had. They're all things that I either bought on Amazon to be delivered or um, Target drive up. So hopefully that will help some of you guys who are trying to figure out what to do because you don't want to go out during this whole mess. Um, you want to stay self-isolated just like I do and do your part to flatten the curve. So if you are trying to figure out things to buy that are easy gifts for your Easter basket for your kids, um, stick around. I am so excited because today's video is a collaboration with my gorgeous friend Silvery Veronica here on YouTube. She's from Las Vegas, Nevada and has an adorable five-month-old daughter named Ray Ann. Her channel is all about mama motivation and lifestyle. She makes clean with me and some cooking videos over on her channel. She's so sweet and so motivating and I know you guys will love her. So please, when you're done watching this video, go subscribe to Veronica and tell her I sent you. And if Veronica sent you here, Welcome, I'm so excited to have you. So without further ado, let's just jump on into the basket. So this is the basket that I have. I have one of these for each of us. I actually have four of them because I bought them last year and I just was planning ahead and went ahead and picked up four of them. And so we're only using three this year, obviously, but next year we'll use all four. And what I did last year was I had little tags with our names on them, but I can't find the tags after we moved. I guess I lost them. What I'm doing this year is to differentiate, other than like the fact that the stuff in there is gonna be different for each of us, is um, the tissue paper. I'm gonna do different colored tissue paper. So I got a pack. I actually got this pack of tissue paper. It's all like, you know, messed up now. But <laughs> this pack of like spring colored tissue paper from Target and it was really cheap. I'll pop up on the screen how much everything was that I bought. Um, but that's an easy way if you get all the same baskets to differentiate each person's basket in your house um, so that you don't have to go buy tags if you don't want to or like letters or anything like that. It's way cheaper to just buy the paper. And then on top of it with that paper, now I don't have to buy like that filler grass stuff. The plastic grass is really bad for the environment and then the paper stuff is just a waste of money and it's a mess and it gets all over the house and then you have to ugh, do tissue paper instead. And if, you know, you're a little bit anal like me you probably will end up reusing the tissue paper <laughs> if you run out of toilet paper i mean so the first thing in the basket is um two different pairs of pjs this was a set from target my kid is obsessed with toy story i actually we bought him some little people um some toy story little people that were supposed to go in the basket and then i caved i don't know about anybody else do you cave early when you buy presents for your kids it's so hard for me to wait for the holiday to give them the presents because i just get so excited um they have some little people um toy story figurines if your kid loves toy story which was originally the plan but that didn't happen but i found some toy story pjs <sighs> I originally bought a size 3T of a completely different set of PJs or like dinosaurs or something for him. And then I realized um, this past week that his 3T PJs are getting pretty tight. Yeah, my kid's 22 months old. And I was a little worried that um, two weeks from now when Easter happens that they're not going to fit anymore. So I went ahead and gave him those and now he's wearing them. <laughs> But I went ahead and bought a size 4T in these. Oh my gosh, 4T, 22 months old. What am I going to do? He's so tall, just like his dad. So I bought this set. This one has um, Woody and Buzz and the little alien dude and Forky on it. So they came with that. And then the other set in the package, these ones, it's they're short sleeves and 
pants on this one and then this one is short sleeves and shorts but it's like a little woody outfit oh my gosh isn't it so cute <laughs> i think some people think like boy clothes are just not as cute as girl clothes and they get disappointed like when they find out they're gonna have a boy versus a girl because they're afraid that they're not gonna be able to find any cute clothes dude there are such cute clothes for boys too you just have to look okay so the next thing in the basket that i have is this big old paper ream so this is the melissa melissa and doug tabletop paper roll dispenser i got this from amazon um, and I know that Amazon is kind of, um, making things come later if they're not essential products. Um, but I ordered this and got it two days later. It said it was going to take like a long time and I was worried we weren't going to get in time for Easter, but we still got it like again in two days. So I think it's kind of more of a, they're still going to try to get it to you in those two days that you normally get for Prime. But if they don't, like they don't want you to be mad kind of a thing because they're more focused on like the essential stuff. So you can always still try to get it. And even if you can't get it for Easter, it's still a great idea. I'm really excited. My kid loves, loves to color. And I'm thinking we have one of those little um, Delta Children's tables, which I will link down below too. Um, and I'm thinking that my husband can actually install this on the side of that. And then I can just pull the paper over the top of the table and then he can color, you know, rip it off and do it again. Not that we can't just use regular paper. I just feel like this would just be so much easier than having to constantly run to the printer and get paper. And to go along with that, I got some Crayola washable markers. We've never used markers with him until the other day. Um, before everything happened was my dad's birthday and we went to a restaurant and normally you know at restaurants they give you crayons and I didn't really want him to have the crayons but he was having he was you know toddlers sometimes they just can't like handle sitting still and so we I didn't have any crayons with me and we asked them if they had any coloring stuff and they brought over markers and I had Clorox wipes with me so I wiped them off because that's the type of person I am anyway, even when there isn't a pandemic happening. Um, and he loved the markers, loved them. He thought they were so cool and they just wiped off the table. I was like, he kept accidentally getting it on the table and I was kind of freaking out. My mom's like, Melissa, they're washable, watch. And she took one of my wipes and just wiped off the table. I was like, what? <laughs> Obviously it probably won't wash off my walls, but I guess that's what, magic erasers are for i'm like watching him unless i'm working but he's still in the same room as me so i'm gonna be paying attention and making sure he's not coloring on furniture and walls anyway just because i'm a parent accidents happen right things happen sometimes you just have to pee and walk away and got the big thing with all the different colors and i just thought that it would be a fun new coloring thing with the paper if your kid doesn't have any chalk yet or um like if all their chalk is like old and like run down i would totally suggest getting chalk we just got some chalk because it's so nice outside and we're stuck inside so um i wanted to be able to have some more like outdoor activities to do so we just got chalk so i'm not going to put any chalk in his basket but I totally would if we wouldn't already have it. Bubbles also are great. All of the Easter baskets I had growing up had bubbles in them. I didn't grab any bubbles. Um, we still have two sticks of bubbles from last Easter that haven't even been opened. So I just went ahead and didn't get any bubbles because I feel like I don't really need them right now. Okay, so the last thing in the basket are snacks. And I know a lot of people don't do candy and snacks in Easter baskets, but my family always did. So what I did was from Target, I looked and found some of the Welch's um, fruit snacks that are like the Easter kind with a little bunny on them. And so I bought that and I put like, I don't know, 10 of them in here. Here's a great tip. If you don't wanna buy any new candy or maybe you can't find certain things right now because of what's going on shop your pantry because we have these in the pantry and I just threw some in the basket and he won't know the difference he'll be super excited for these if I would have had fruit snacks already I would have just used the fruit snacks I had but I didn't have them so 
I put three packs of applesauce in here and then like 10 things of fruit snacks and the basket's full. It doesn't seem like a lot of stuff, which I don't know, even though I like to give my kid stuff and I, I really enjoy like watching him open things and, and get really excited about it, you know, that's not what holidays are all about. It's not about the stuff that you get, even though I love giving it because I love to like watch the excitement. It's not about stuff, you know? Um, so I want to like instill that at a young age that even though the stuff is fun, like it's not about the stuff. You, know? you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to go all out. Just a couple of things that are super cheap, um, that you were probably going to get them anyways, like the PJs because he's growing out of them. Or like if your kid's crayons are all like worn all the way down, they need new crayons, get some new crayons and they don't have to be the expensive ones. I personally get the Crayola just because I feel like they're better quality and that's my personal preference, but you don't have to do that. You can get the super cheap ones and your kids will be totally happy. They don't know the difference. I hope that you guys liked this video and got some good ideas for your kids' Easter baskets. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and go check out my friend. Her video will be linked down below. I hope you all have a very happy, safe Easter. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Excuse the St. Patrick's Day stuff going on back here because I have not decorated for Easter yet. Am I the only one? I should have done my spring and Easter decorate with me before I filmed this video. Look at that. Look at that baby bump. Oh my gosh. If you guys like pregnancy updates and stuff like that, I do a lot more of that on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me. My handle is at Melissa Sakuma. I will put it right here and I'll put it in the description box below. Bye. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again